Hello everyone, Josh One here, and today we're going to be breaking down Season 9 Hunted Trailer. Let's get into this. Daddy No Legs is here. Now the first thing I want to say is that this trailer kind of reminded me of How to Train Your Dragon. There were a few things, as well as the set I got, which is on screen now, and it's, it's closeness to Stormfly. Um, we'll cover that later, but uh, basically it starts off here with the shot we saw at the end, basically the same sort of scene we saw at the end of uh, Sons of Garmadon. And then it goes on to a, a little bit older woo with Cole. Now, as we can see here, Cole has seen some action, right? He's seen some action. And as we see in the very next scene, with a little bit of an animation error, as uh, Cole's uh, suit is uh, really fine in this scene. Um, but uh, they are running away from the Dragon Hunters, who we don't know who are only yet, that's not confirmed. But uh, we're going to assume that they're only for the rest of this video. They're definitely not the same as Kilo and Violet, so we'll have to see. But they were captured, obviously, they've been captured, and back in Ninjago, Tons of Garmadon have taken over, right? Emperor Garmadon is now in control, and I have good hopes for this, as uh, maybe they can bring back Garmadon into the highlight. But basically, the ninja team uh, and the Elemental Master is going to be called the Resistance, okay? This is the yeah, Star Wars or something. Like but um, this is the Resistance, okay? And as we can see here, Lloyd and Nia are hiding in some bushes as Tons of Garmadon cruise on through, right? we got a lot of stuff to cover here. Now, as we can see, uh, he was talking to Miss Stark uh, here. Uh, I, I didn't get a screenshot of that, but Miss Stark's back, all right. She's gonna throw off some expositionary dialogue because she's that character now, whatever. Uh, back in the only realm, this is where things get ex exciting. Dragons, the reason why they want dragons is because they're elemental powers. And we don't really know how many dragons there are or exactly how this works, but basically they've been capturing dragons and using them. Like this fire dragon right here, right? He's been used, or she's been used for this, uh, this, this metal, this blacksmith shop. This is crazy. We actually know what they're doing now. Now, again, we don't know if these are Oni or not, but we are going to assume they are. They're Oni, okay? Um, basically, again, they have this little area. Like, it really reminds me of the How to Train Your Dragon, where Hiccup had to fight Toothless. Um, I love that series, by the way. Which is not a bad thing that they're taking cues from it. And then there's a bit of, there's a bit of, like, Mad Max, you know, Overwatch even. A little bit of a... That junk rat, junker town sort of thing. Um, feel going on, but it's still distinctly Ninjago. There's a lot of tournament of elements going on here. It's very Lego. I love it. It's brilliant. As you can see here, Kai and Jay. Uh, Jay's, Jay's realizing how uh, kind of screwed they are because that sword absorbed Kai's powers. So they're going to have to work pretty down under time to actually get the advantage on these villains. Here's the first one, Dragon, right? Uh, it, it's just staring into the night. We saw this in the other trailer. But this trailer is actually intense. The other one, now I think in Japan... The uh, the audience for Ninjago is a bit lower, like younger, because they've got a lot more uh, of, a, of a difference in culture. So it was a very kiddie trailer. But this one right here is a very much a bit more mature trailer. Um, definitely aimed towards people who have, uh, care about the series rather than just being some kids show. Now this this shot here, it's a very clear parallel to Harumi, and I love it. This is brilliant. As we can see here, a young girl playing with the toys with two parents that are. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully this doesn't form another Harumi or something, but I think there's a parallel there. Now, as we can see here, the Dragon Hunters are going across the first room. It looks very barren. It looks very, very barren world. Very interesting, and I can't wait to learn exactly why they're in this realm, or if they are the only, you know, what's going on with this, because, you know, the first Minutsu Master, uh, he's, he's been, he was born in this realm, but yet here he is not exactly here. It's sort of interesting. Dareth, Lloyd, and Nia, they're, they're just there, right? They're just here, right? They're, they're, they're going to be stomped on with a massive colossal Oni thing. And here we have the type of card. Ninjago, Master of Ninjutsu, Hunted. Now, this is this is all mind-blowing. And as you can see on screen now, we have the How to Do Your Dragon thing, right? This is here. Uh, this is going to be insane. This is just a preliminary thought. Now, taking some I, things back from the set I got and the sets I have and sort of figures in hand, like right here, right now, uh, this is going to be very interesting, and I and I can't wait for this to sort of be a thing. And I'm guessing that the dragon that Jay ends up using is probably one that hasn't been caught before, um, one that has sort of been out there in the world. But there's going to be a lot of parallels here, uh, a lot of parallels to um, prior events, I think, and a lot of uh, in between, exactly between Ninjago and the first realm here. Uh, I'm very very excited now. This is this was a, a hype building trailer. For the ages, this was a really good one. There's a lot of stuff that we've got some answers on. Now, we don't really know exactly if these guys are the Oni, and we also don't really know how Wu is going to get this dragon armor. Um, and if they are the Oni, if this is like some kind of thing, this is a bit of a different 
direction I think they take, and it's very interesting. But uh, I'm guessing that this is going to lead up to some final battle between Wu and Garmadon in season, at the end of the season, uh, which will end up uh, providing us with something, perhaps some kind of ending to Ninjago, perhaps, or maybe even it might go into another season after that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is just something I need to get out there, and I just needed to say because this is exciting. This is exciting stuff. Uh, the Hatcher and Dragon parallels are interesting, and the, 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 I don't think they're copying, but there's definitely some inspiration that I've seen here, especially with that hiccup moment right there, um, which is good. Hatcher and Dragon is a, a brilliant film. It is an absolutely phenomenal film, and any you know para, uh, any uh, inspiration that Ninjago takes from it, I am more than happy, because it's, it's very clearly just inspiration. So, yeah. Lloyd and Nia are the Resistance. With the Elemental Masters, who came at the end of the, the short there, the, uh, the trailer there, and uh, the rest of them are in the only realm. There are a few animation errors um, in this uh, short trailer. A lot of the suits seem to go back and forth, and we don't really know exactly how it's all going to pan out. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video, and I'll keep you guys posted on new stuff. Bye!